Guys, we're this close to the F1 race. If you haven't heard yet, the Formula One race is coming to Las Vegas on November 16th to the 18th of 2023, and it's gonna drive right through Las Vegas Boulevard. So today, I'm gonna tell you everything I know about F1, from all the changes that we've experienced to where people will be watching it and what Las Vegas will be expecting on the race weekend. Starting with all the construction. Can we just take a second and just take a look at all the construction that we're going through right now? Yes, Las Vegas is going through some major changes in order to get ready for this race. And this has been going on for months, so it's definitely not something that's pretty to look at right now. The streets where the track is gonna be went through so much repaving, which led to a lot of road closures. So the strip itself had major traffic issues for months. And then once the repaving was done, it moved on to building the grandstands and all these metal structures that are gonna hold up all the lights. Yeah, so we haven't been looking our most aesthetic for a while now. Again, the race is gonna be from November 16th to the 18th. So this is what the... <laughs> That's right, you hunk at them. Again, the race is going to be from November 16th to the 18th, so this is what the schedule is going to look like. Thursday the 16th, they're going to have their first practice from 8.30 till 9.30, and then again from midnight till 1 a.m. Then on Friday, the second practice is from again 8.30 till 9.30, and then the qualifying event is from again midnight till 1 a.m. And then finally, the actual race is going to be on Saturday the 18th at 10 p.m. Sorry guys, this is a, a mainly construction video, so gotta deal with it. <laughs> now as for those grandstands, right over there, let's just say if you wanna sit there, it's gonna be money. F1 themselves are selling several different viewing areas that are all along the track. Here's basically a map of everything and all of their prices. As you can see, it's not gonna be cheap attending this event. I would love to be able to talk about every single detail that each spot is doing, but man, there is just so much that these packages are including. But I wanted to at least be able to give you an idea of how much is being charged to the public depending on where they're gonna be seeing the race. And as you can see, Thursday and Friday are the least expensive and Saturday is basically double the price. So just to give you a few examples, uh, starting with the Bellagio Fountain Club. This one is gonna include a three-day race ticket per room reservation, access to the club's private indoor and rooftop hospitality decks, unlimited food and drinks by celebrated chefs and master mixologists, plus meet and greets with the F1 ambassadors. All that hospitality access is $11,247, and that excludes your three-night minimum hotel stay. Yeah, so you're gonna be paying a lot of money if you wanna be right there where the Bellagio is. Another one that I think is really cool is a Club Paris, which they have both single tickets or three-day tickets. That one is gonna include hospitality access to three locations, which is gonna be Beer Park, Alexis, and Cherie, which is the brand new lounge that is right underneath the Eiffel Tower. And it'll be all-inclusive of food and drinks. It is kind of pricey, but I think it's really cool because you get to see the race from so many different viewpoints. Next, we have the Mirage Zone. So as you guys can see for this one, they basically had to take over the whole lake. And unfortunately, the volcano is not working right now. And honestly, we are not even sure if the volcano is gonna continue to keep on working once F1 is done. However though, it is a really good view to see the race from right here because they do also have some grandstands right here. And they literally built the grandstands right over the lake. So for them, they're gonna be selling three-day tickets for $2,400 per person, plus taxes and fees. And that is gonna include unlimited food and drinks and then alcoholic drinks would be separate. But honestly, I think this might be one of the better views because looking towards your left, there is literally no obstructions. Now the circuit itself is a total of 3.8 miles with a total of 17 corners, along with three straightaways and two drag reduction system zones. Now as for safety, there are gonna be barriers on both sides of the 3.8 circuit. The concrete barriers are gonna be about three feet tall and then the debris catch fence on top of that is another 12 feet. And I know what you're thinking, well, I'll just watch it from the sidewalk. Well, unfortunately, sidewalks along Las Vegas Boulevard will still be open to the public during race weekend. However, they will not have use of the track or the race from these public sidewalks. And now we do have to consider on where to park. I do highly recommend that you park somewhere that has access to these parking garages from back streets. Meaning roads such as Coval, Frank Sinatra, or Industrial. Actually, no, not even Coval. Never mind. So I have made a list of all these places that do have an alternate road access. So we have places such as the Mirage, Treasure Island, Park MGM, MGM Grand, New York, New York, Sahara, Westgate, 
Caesars and Resorts World. And then just like most events, they are going to have a bag policy, so you are going to need to have a clear plastic bag that does not exceed 12 by 6 by 12 inches, or small bags and fanny packs that do not exceed more than 4.5 by 6.5 inches. Now, besides all the grandstands and all the other areas that are going to be right along the track, there are other restaurants that are going to be having their own viewing parties because they have some amazing views. So we are here at the Palazzo and I'm going to show you the first restaurant that you could see the race from the venue itself. It's on the second floor and they have some really cool views of the Las Vegas Strip. And in case if you haven't heard of Flight Club, it's actually pretty cool. It looks just like a circus in here. I mean, they have all these carousels and of course, they're all about darts. So they do have many windows and this area right here by the bar is the first set. So the drivers are going to be coming this way, so you're going to be able to see them do this turn. Then we have more windows over here. They said they're probably going to get rid of this table area right here. That way it doesn't block the view. So there's that window right there. And then this one right here. Yeah, that's definitely a sharp turn right there. So that's just the first area. We're going to take you back here to show you the rest of the windows. This one's a little bit higher, but I mean, take a look at that. That's a really good view right there. So that's basically window number four right there. And then if we're going to go in this room. Oh, snap. Look at this. Dang, they're going to fly by right here. So that's window number five. Come around this way. I mean, that probably doesn't count. <laughs> And then window number six and seven. Got more to see from over here. And then this one, window number seven. And dang, this is more of a straightaway for sure. So you're going to see a pattern that basically Thursday is going to be the cheapest. And then Friday and Saturday are going to be higher in price. Of course, Saturday being the most expensive. So if you do want to come to Flight Club, on Thursday is going to be $175 for general admission and then Friday is gonna be $250. In that ticket purchase is gonna include a two hour premium drink package from 8.30 p.m. till 10.30 p.m., a two hour premium unlimited food package, and they'll have stuff like cheese flights, hot and cold appetizers, sliders, flatbreads, cookie towers, cronuts, and then after 10.30 p.m. it is gonna be a cash bar until 1 a.m. Now if you wanna come Saturday, it's gonna be $450 for the ticket. That one's gonna be a three hour premium drink package from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m., including the champagne toast at 10 p.m. for the start of the race. And then again, the two hour premium unlimited food package, cash bar being from 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. Just give them a call if you are interested in coming here for the race. I could tell it's gonna be a fun time in here. We're at Mon Amiga B. There is absolutely no doubt that this place is going to be used for F1 viewing because look at it, it's in the middle of everything. So of course, Mon Amiga B is located at the Paris Hotel and usually they will have amazing views of the Bellagio Fountains and it's a great place to come and people watch. And it's right near the Club Paris, which again is going to be Alexa, Beer Park, and Cherie. But Mon Amiga B is handling their very own packages. They basically have two types of packages. They have one where you can sit out here on the patio and then one that's going to be the pavilion, which does include this glass area and then the inside side of the restaurant, which is more considered like the formal dining room. So if you do want to sit out here on the patio, they either do have single day or three day tickets. Single day being anywhere from $700 to $1,000 and the three day tickets is going to be $2,000 for all three days. Or if you do just want to do the pavilion, which again is going to be inside of this glass area and then towards the dining room, single day packages are going to be between $500 to $800. Or if you want the whole three day packages, $1,600. Oh, thank you. I ended up getting their gluten-free eggs benedict. I know you guys always ask me about gluten-free options, so this is one of them. That is so soft. Wow. So of course, speaking of food, whichever package you choose to get will have food and beverage included. So that's gonna mean they're gonna have food stations around, they're gonna have hors d'oeuvres passed around, regular beverages and alcoholic drinks will be included as well. And then when you book, they do have an option if you wanted to upgrade to add on caviar and wagyu onto your package. I mean, I guess F1 is gonna make you feel fancy, so might as well. Now, as for the layout of the restaurant, it is not gonna look like this at all. They are gonna go ahead and remodel the entire restaurant. So instead of having these regular tables, they're gonna have more like high tops. They are gonna have separate lounges that you can go and sit at. And this whole middle area right here is gonna be standing room only so you could view the race. Oh, I wish I could watch F1 from here. The view is just amazing. We're at Ellis Island now. They are gonna have some pretty sick views from here. So 
Ellis Island is literally right next to the track. I mean, we're right next to the East Harmon Zone, the pit building, and right next to turn number four. They are offering two different ways to watch the race. The first one is going to be right here at the front yard. They are offering both single and three-day passes. The single pass can range anywhere from $250 to $750, or the three-day pass is going to be $1,250. Now, these are going to be called beer garden tickets, which is going to include food, drinks, and beer, which is kind of cool because Ellis Island has their own microbrewery. From inside of front yard, they are going to be offering a live feed with over 20 TVs inside of the venue, including one that's 18 feet long. That one down there in the middle, it's pretty big. And you'll also be having access to the outdoor observation deck. Uh, All right, we're decking, guys. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay, I snuck in, guys. I'm just kidding. No, I have permission from Ellis Island. Wow. Okay, so this is the viewing platform. This is actually pretty big. This could fit like 250 people. Holy wow. Look at it. What's kind of funny is that you can look straight across to the people that are in that, that VIP area and be like, hey, I didn't have to take out a second mortgage just to have the same view. And then all those grandstands are gonna go all the way to down there. And then the second option is gonna be the actual grandstand. So you'll be having a seat that's right outside next to the track. That one is only doing three day passes. So you're gonna be paying $1,500. Now that is gonna include food and drink and then they're gonna have cash bars available as well. The food and drink themselves is gonna be right outside. Plus they're also gonna have DJs and then other activations that you can see if you're gonna be at the grandstands. Now if you wanted to do a little bit more, they're also doing a grandstand and hotel package. That one is gonna include a three night stay. You can do a king room, a double room, or of course if you wanna feel a little VIP, they do have a VIP suite. The hotel portion is just right next to the casino and they did just get recently remodeled. We're actually gonna get to see one of the VIP suites here. Oh, that's nice. It's like a whole apartment over here. Oh cool, look, two bathrooms. It's a whole living room right here. So along with the package, of course, you're gonna get two grandstand tickets. And then prices are gonna start at $4,444 or more, of course, if you want that VIP suite. And Ellis Island has really good food. I've been here many times in other videos. If you ever get the chance, get the pork belly bites. Trust me. Next, we have the T-Mobile Zone at the Sphere. So they're gonna have grandstands right over here. So we are gonna be able to see the Sphere right in front of us. They are gonna be offering both single day tickets and three day tickets as well. That is gonna include food that is catered by Wolfgang Puck along with water and soft drinks. That also does include access to the T-Mobile zone area that is at the Sphere. Now that's for the actual grandstand, so meaning that you get to sit. They did have the general admission, which is standing room only, and that one went fast. That one was $500 per person, and that was general admission for all three days. But unfortunately, those did sell out like right away. So I would consider this area to probably be one of the cheaper sections. Okay, so in this video, I want to show you what the actual track looks like. And we're going to do just that. We're going to actually go on the course and we're going to drive on it. But before we do that, we're going to Area 15. So this place that I'm gonna take you to, um, again, inside of Area 15, you just have to go to the very back of Area 15 to the left, and we're gonna go to one of their bars. So we are here at Asylum, which is kind of a mix of a bar and an arcade, and it's two stories. They have so many different games. It's always super funny here. I actually came here for the brocation video. And here they have this game. <laughs> So this right here is called the Grand Prix Racing Simulator. It's supposed to replicate the speed and then you're gonna face all the different challenges that the pro drivers have to go through. And I think the coolest part is that you get to see what it would be like if you were to race on the strip, passing by all the hotels. It's gonna be $13.50 and there's definitely a lot of people who are waiting to try this out. And then I saw that this moves right here too, so it's gonna be a bumpy ride. I'm gonna try not to crash, no promises. Shit, I don't know how to do that. Oh my god. Oh no. Ah! <laughs> Rough start already. Oh no, I don't even know where I'm going. Ah! <laughs> Oops, I crashed. Oh my god. Dude, I have a brand new respect for these drivers. Oh, we're passing Treasure Island right now and Palazzo. What's up, Mirage? Oh, that's so cool. Even it shows the fountains. Wait, am I doing it right? <laughs> oh no. Someone hit me. 
Dude, I'm not even in the race and I'm like already nervous. <laughs> Man, all these eyes on you would be insane. Oh, that's so cool. It even shows the actual sphere. So when I go, I should be sitting right there. Oh, snap. Did I win? No. Okay. Let's see if uh, Timmy Tim can do any better than me. Okay, I got this. This is my route to work regularly, so I know the streets. I don't know why I'm so nervous. <laughs> right? Everybody's paying thousands of dollars to watch your race, so yeah, do it right. Yeah, basically. Holy crap! Good job, Tim. Ah! Holy crap, so many turns. Why? Oh, here we go. Drift. Oh, Ooh, that was so good. Tim destroyed a multi-million dollar car. What? <laughs> yeah, it was fun, that's all that counts. Obviously driving the first lap is a little bumpy because you're still trying to get to know the course. But yeah, it's really cool to see how it, like, it moved and if other cars crashed into you, you would actually feel it. But yeah, it's super fun and you could definitely tell a lot of people are here to try it. So if you do come to Asylum here, uh, definitely check it out. It's really fun, but I mean, you can have so much fun here on their whole bar. I mean, they have even great drinks and pizza here. Oh my God, look how beautiful that is. So this is a Bronx Bomber, which is basically like a pepperoni pizza. And it's made over at The Feast, which is the actual restaurant here at Area 15. You can just order it by the QR code that's at the bar. And then once it's ready, they'll just deliver it over here to you. Ow, hot. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, that's so cheesy. Mm. So now that we did the simulator, let's go back outside and go on the actual track. Ladies, start your engines. That's right. That's right, we got the baddest ride in all of Las Vegas. So if you guys remember, uh, back by popular demand, this is Electric Vegas Rentals. And awesome enough, a lot of people ended up booking for this and I've heard they've had a blast on this. So yes, we're gonna be taking this car right here and we're gonna go do the F1 race course. We're gonna go drive the streets. And perfect enough, you know, there's no doors, so we can, we can have a good view. So if you guys ever want to book this, just put in the coupon code JELLY at electricvegasrentals.com or just mention that you heard it from Norma Jelly when booking. Get in, loser, we're going shopping. <laughs> Well, what a cool shot right here, huh? So for the course, it's gonna go down Cobalt, going north, and then we're gonna make a left at Sands, which is Spring Mountain. Then they make another left onto Las Vegas Boulevard, another left at Harmon, and just round and around, all lefts, baby. So of course, the real place that's gonna start is gonna be inside of all these grandstands, which we don't have access to, but close enough, right? Did I win? I'm gonna take that as a yes. So hopefully I was at least able to give you some sort of recreation. I know it's not the prettiest thing right now because of all the construction, but don't worry, it'll be much better during F1. And don't forget to book with Electric Vegas Rentals. So as always guys, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends, and comment below. What do you guys think of F1? Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Guys, we're this close to the F1 race. Okay. <laughs> One more. Of 2023, and it's gonna write if you haven't heard yet, the Formula One race. <laughs> so this is what this is. <laughs> Again, the race is going to be from November 16th to the... <laughs> Mother. And as you can see, Thursday and Friday... That one is going to include hospitality spaces to three places. So that's going to be Beer Park, Alexis and Cherry. Okay. Along with three... So I've made a list of all the places that do have these at back, that sounds weird, back entry access. <laughs> that is gonna include complimentary food that is catered by Wolfpen Cup. <sighs> Cup. So if you do wanna sit out here on the package, what? We're here at fight. Yeah. So the drivers will be coming from this way, so you're gonna sit. So the drivers are gonna be coming this way, so you're gonna be able to see this, do this. <laughs> Wow.
<laughs> if I have service. <laughs> So this right here is called the Grand Peak. So this is a replica of the exact track that the drivers are going to be driving for. Wait, <laughs> driving for. Okay. Wait, what is that? Why are the <laughs> hazards on? Okay. So we are so close to F1. Hopefully this give you gave you. Video. Okay. <laughs> give you a really good idea of where you can watch the. I keep saying fight. <laughs> 